go. A meeting that Freedom Watch has its eye on this weekend is the Bilderberg Conference in Switzerland. Their powerful political and economic elites gather to shape world policy. And on this show, we're wondering, if the ideas shared there are so legitimate and so important, then why does this meeting happen behind closed doors and surrounded by snipers, Ellis Hennigan? <laughs> Wouldn't you, the investigative journalist that you are, like to get on the other side yes, of those snipers? Of course, of course. I mean, listen, that's why we need good business reporting like occurs on this network. Great reporters have to go and, and pull the rug out from under the uh, builder windbags. Oh, but the builder them. windbags won't let any reporters in there, and they are the, the most important movers and shakers outside of the government, many of the government people there are ex-government people in the world. Let's who go. are they and what are they doing I, there? Who knows? I don't know. They're your rich friends. Listen I don't to know this. Who they are. Your, your Honor, <laughs> it, it, these are rich and famous people and they want to be acknowledged as such. So getting invited to Bilderbergs and having it be exclusive, they love having exclusive stuff. They're country clubs and whatnot. That's why they want to go there because, wow, I'm smart and rich and famous and you want me to go? Great. They, they, they want to keep it that way. I'm not scared of what's going on Is here. there some group that we should here. know what they're doing because they are so influential and when they they enter into private or secret or unwritten agreements among themselves as to what they're going to do to influence politics and influence banking. They, in fact, do influence politics and banking on the basis of the agreements made at this hotel in Switzerland, Nicole? Well, possibly, but maybe that's another reason why we just need to shrink the size of government so these people have less influence. Uh, see you at dinner at Boulay. That's where they'll be talking about this, right? as soon as Who are they? Who are they? Well, they're, Henry, they're, they're, they're CEOs, they're, they're former CEOs, they're former, they're former chairs, politicians. They're former chairs of the Fed. Look, they're David there's Rockefeller. There's a few heads there's... of royal families. Well, yeah, okay, there might be good ideas that come out of this. Why not share knowledge? Okay. Why not build relationships <laughs> that at some point in time might be able to help you? Hang on, Nicole. The Queen of Spain, John D. Rockefeller, <laughs> Google CEO Eric Schmidt, former United States President, which one will be there? Bill Clinton, Ben Bernanke, Tim Geithner, the former chairs of the, of the Federal Reserve. Are you worried about what agreements they might uh, uh, enter into at Bilderberg? I think it's funny that this is presented as this big capitalist controversy because I don't, to me, these people aren't capitalists. So, yes, I am worried what they will do. But again, I just, I think, A, transparency is good. And then, B, we just need to give them less influence. Transparency good with this crowd. Sure. Wouldn't you really like to be there and know what's going on? Yeah, the only yeah. way I'm going to get there is if I get a day rate with the catering staff. All right, well, put that aside. Put that <laughs> aside. You are a serious, although self-effacing, investigative journalist whom we love to yes. have here. I would bring I would, a tape recorder if I was all right, on the we would love, staff. We would also way. love to have you there. What do you think they're talking about? What do you think they, they want to accomplish by their secret well, meetings of high-powered people. I mean, there are a lot of serious issues in terms of free trade, in terms of monetary policy. I mean, there is good stuff for them to talk about. But listen, I'm a reporter, first and foremost. Yeah, I'd like to be sneaking in the room, of course. But just for that reason, I mean, if, if any of these, these ideas these dangerous ideas right. uh, that are brought back to the United States that want to be put into law, as soon as they're mentioned on the floor of the House or the Senate, we're all going to know about them and we're all going to be up in arms about them. All right. So it's not that dangerous. It's just a think tank. Suppose Google and the Federal <laughs> Reserve and the Treasury Department and Bill Clinton decide that housing is a civil right and they come back to the United States and start fomenting that idea all over the place. Is it good that we don't know what they're doing or is it bad that we don't know what they're doing, Nicole? Why are you guys Nice laughing at that. It's a legitimate question. Go ahead, no, Nicole. it's it's terrible and it's nefarious, but that's why we have a tripartite system of government, you know, for checks and balances, so that these stupid ideas can't make it. Yes, know, can't see the light yeah. of day. That's Robert. why we have the judge here to yell, "It's unconstitutional!" <laughs> every well, no, day. It's not unconstitutional. So when somebody comes up with that idea, you would say, "Look," and, and to Nicole's point, we have checks and balances in place. All right, Ellis, I'll give you the last word. Big guys like secrets. It has ever been thus and shall ever that's, be. That's okay, true. Nicole Neely, Chris <laughs> Cotter, Ellis Hennigan, ever self-effacing. It's always a pleasure to. Have have you here. Thank you guys. Back with watch